from the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC Chief Meteorologist Ron Roberts. A tough one tonight, but the northern half of the area continues to see the most snow. And actually, as we get back, let's get to the wall real quick about this. We talked about this last night, that the area obviously that would receive the most snow would be the northern half of the South Lanes, Texas Panhandle, and New Mexico. And that's, that's where it is. And you say, well, gosh, that's not really hard to do, Ron. It seems like that's the way it is all the time. And, and you're right, because of terrain differences, because of the way the systems move across the area, the fronts. Uh, and tonight, what we're seeing is the moisture coming from the Gulf of Mexico is really winning the battle across the southern half of the area that we knew would happen. It's Lubbock right on the line. <laughs> and you see the pinks and the freezing rain and, yes, at times, some sleep. Again, I've been out in this stuff tonight. No sleep that I've seen. But, yeah, it looks like there's been areas of, of some, some ice trying to form across parts of the metro Lubbock area. And you see a little bit here showing green over Lubbock. But you go west in Leveland, and it's a little bit more intense in the vicinity of maybe some sleet. Right there, that line near Littlefield looks like some snow trying to fall in the Littlefield area, according to the radar. But, really, when you look at the sky views, it's the snow, and the snow is falling across the northwest and northern half of the South Plains. We looked at Tulia a while ago, and that was all ice on I-27. This is Friona, and if you're new to Lubbock, Friona is about 80 miles or so northwest of Lubbock with Guy Brockman and Sylvia Insurance and the gang up there. And you can see, yes, that white right there, that's snow, and it's still light snow in Palmer County right now. Well, the temperatures, 32 degrees in Brownfield, right at that number. 31 in level land, right below the freezing temperature, 3,307 inch of rain. Plain use 32, 2,107 inch, right there freezing. And then Doppler 1, which is at Roosevelt School, eastern portion, Lubbock County, 32, 3,500 inch. Wolford, 32, 2,900 of an inch. So just another little, you know, creep of the temperature down a little bit. And many of you that are going to be out tonight, it's going to turn to ice. So what do you do? You slow down, right? And you don't break hard. You, and you don't go 60, 65 miles per hour on city streets. Slow down and you'll be in good shape. Now, for precipitation types, this is the tough, tough forecast because everything has to be just right. For example, the cold air has to be deep enough for it to go to the snow category. If it's not, the warm air, it's just going to make it all rain. And for a lot of us tonight, it's all rain because it's been too warm and the cold air has been too shallow. But as you get a little closer, you start seeing that that freezing rain right in here is tough to forecast. The sleet a little easier and then the snow a little easier. Black ice driving tips, again, we want you to make sure that you're going to steer those wheels straight, all right? Don't brake hard, and don't put that foot on the accelerator too strongly. Again, you notice the snow falling in the column of air that's cold all the way down, top to bottom. But that freezing rain, yeah, like we've had tonight, has just a little bit of the warm air involved in between, and that's what's creating this. Again, you see the freezing rain, and perhaps late line just north the metro Lubbock area and snow and we saw the snow in Friona we saw the freezing uh, well what appears to be freezing rain on utility lines in Tulia so it's snowing right up in here and well so far the North American model is doing a pretty good job but it turns it all to rain as we get into tomorrow and then throughout the day Thursday the clouds begin to Break away a little bit and the precipitation chance goes away. The North American model has done a really good job on this. So the ice forecast of seven, seven hundredths of an inch here, it's better than it was, but I think for the city of Lubbock, that's still too high. But it's not too high if you go 40 miles north of Lubbock. Uh, so the northern half of the South Plains, keep an eye on that. Temperatures tonight, 31, wintry mix and some slick roads. Yes, by tomorrow morning, when you get up, Give yourself some extra time to get the turkey over to Grandma's house, all right? Because there could be some slick spots to deal with. That forecast calling for, again, 39 degrees. Winter remix in the morning, but the afternoon, it becomes rain. Seven-day forecast that the precipitation opportunity decreases. Mr. Turkey Day, 
Friday, 60, 50s for the weekend. But it's a tough deal, but folks, just slow down. Don't break too hard. We've talked about this a billion and one times. Mm -hmm. It's not hard. Got to get everybody easy. listening, though. Be safe. Yep. All right. For sure. Former Tech Football.